Contra Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make a felted vintage flower corsage brooch like the one I'm wearing right here. You're going to start with a template. Now I have a five petal flower here. You can see it's not perfect, you know, just I just freehanded it and I'm going to pin it to my felt. I'm going to cut that out and I need about seven to eight of these flowers depending on how full you want your corsage. All right, so we cut that out. You would cut seven or eight of them. You can even double the felt and cut two at a time. So here I have one already cut out. So now you're going to take each one of these flowers and fold it in half. Now. You don't want to fold petal to petal. You want to try to get them in between each other. So you're going to fold that in half and with your nifty glue gun, I know all you crafters have one, you're going to put a little dot inside. Glue that down. So now you have it glued in half. Now you're going to fold that again. So that's put another dot of glue and fold that in half. So now you're going to take four of those pieces and group them together. That will become the platform for your flower. And you're going to just dab a little glue. It can get a little messy here. It's okay. That'll end up being covered up with some other petals. I love glue guns. Okay. Let's see. Now you're going to take your next three or four, put a dab of glue on the end, stick that in top, on top, another one. Stick it on top and in here. So this one I use three. So now if you want to make the stamen, you can cut a small piece of gold, yellow, maybe even green, a strip about, I don't know, that's about a half an inch by three inches. You're going to cut these little snips on top. You don't want to go all the way through to the end, about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the felt. Okay. So now these are all cut. Then you roll it up. And then another dab of glue. And glue that shut. You can even make a bunch of these and glue all these together. That would be a pretty flower. So then I am going to dab a little glue on the bottom here and insert that into the middle of my flower. Look how pretty. That was so simple. Now let's cut a leaf. I freehand this. You just want like an eye shape. And I use my pinking shears for a little bit more texture. So cut with my pinking shears a leaf. You can have one, two, you can have as many as you'd like. You can even layer a few. If you have a different color green, cut another one a little smaller and put that on top. So now I'm going to turn that over. Another dab of glue and glue that to the back of the flower. Now I found these backers in a craft store and I love them because not only is it a clip for a brooch, but, but it's a clip for um, a hair accessory. So you can wear it both ways. I love that. So let's put some more glue. We might be running out here. Ah, I think we still have some. So now you're going to take your backing, add some glue. You might want to add decent amount of glue. 
and glue that to the back of your flower. This can get very hot, so you might want to press it down with another piece of felt. Okay, so look how sweet that is and how simple that was. So this can be a brooch or with this, you know, backing that has a little hair clip, it could also be a fun little hair clip. So this is Linda Fachi of Fachi Designs and I hope you had fun making your flower felted vintage brooch. Bye-bye.